and a lot of style coming off the Cavaliers bus earlier on. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Donovan Mitchell. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. His scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Look at Cleveland's starting group. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. The big men on the floor for him. Mobley and Allen. And it's Struess in at the three, the small forward. And for the Celtics. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. And every season, you have teams, Greg, that start out hot only to falter. How do you separate the real from the rest? Kevin, that's a good question. And, and one thing is what we call point differential doesn't just look at wins and losses but margins of victory and it can indicate who's really built to go the distance now here's Garland coming off a stellar performance against Orlando to the inside here's Allen for Zingas with the block and he's able to get it back Spruce kicks to Garland clock is at three over Holiday most, but it rolls out. On offense, here are the Celtics. White the pass to Brock. Outside, Brzingis. White against Allen. And it's sent back by Allen! Holiday against Garland. Mobley a screen. Mitchell finds Mobley. Sinks that one from the post. If you're going to roll as the screen setter as Evan Mobley does there, you got to be able to catch and finish. And he does just that. You know, Greg, it's nice to have a big man like Mobley out on the floor with all the things he can do. And, and Kevin, you got to love his skill set for a seven footer. They're really diverse in terms of what he brings to the table. And then you hear so much praise for his attitude and his feel for the game. What a valuable player to have on your team. And here is Mitchell. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Mitchell with it. Picked up by Brown. The wide open shot from Struess. Good and the assist goes to Mitchell. Now Donovan Mitchell on time and on target. Pretty pass. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Outside Tatum, pass to Holiday. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Mitchell outside. Allen a screen on White. For three, Mitchell hits it from three-point range. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. White, wide open. He fires. Off target from outside. Garland kicks to Mitchell. Garland against Holland. Steps back. Garland looking it over. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Holiday. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by one. Feated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I mean, just way too many turnovers in that one. If you can't protect the ball, you, you can't expect to win. That's exactly right. Miscues drive a coach crazy. You're giving them more opportunities than you're giving yourself, and that's always problematic. Tatum dishes to Holiday. Brown finds White. Just five on the clock. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Here's Garland. Still without a basket. 
In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA, Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. All right, a chance to check out the stats for Mitchell. The past month has been surreal, averaging about 24 points, five assists, and six rebounds. And he brings it for them every game on the offensive end. Well, I think you can tell he relishes this role, being the catalyst on the offensive end, night in and night out. Now here's White. Outside Holiday. Unable to get that one. 157 left in the first quarter. Holiday against Garland. To the middle. Here's Levert. Porzingis with the block. Porzingis 7 3 says, Not here and not now. White against Mobley. Porzingis with a screen on Garland. Holiday, the pass to Porzingis. And Porzingis had a lot of suitors, GA, over the summer. Eventually, the Celtics made the move for him. Porzingis rehabbed his game and value in D.C. With the Wizards rebuilding, he was a prime trade target. Boston went for him early, and he could be a difference maker for the Celtics. That free throw good from Porzingis. And you talk about a tough matchup doors for teams against this one. Kristaps Porzingis. He is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev. This guy has that rare combination of both size and skill. Increasingly more efficient. And when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Hauser's checked in. And it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. It has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. You can see how long Thompson's arms are when he goes up to finish that alley-oop. Pritchard passes to Hauser. Brown outside. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Last game for the Cavaliers, they picked up the W against Orlando. Yeah, and that one, unbelievable shooting display, especially from long range. That turned out to be the difference. Well, and I think what that was a product of was their movement off the basketball. Just tremendous work on the perimeter. Driving in. Outside, Brzingis. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Garland. Right side, Berzingis. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Outside, Garland. No good on that one. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. It's the Celtics. They're up by three. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stance wise? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. Here's Tatum. 32 points for him last game against Indiana. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. And it's Benton in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. 
Just tremendous confidence from Jason Tatum. This guy understands I am a scorer even at the most elite level. Here's Mitchell. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Mitchell gets to Niang. Offline with his three. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Now Tatum, he's got seven. Down to five on the shot clock. And Okoro pulls it down. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. There's the pass to Levert. Now Niang. He dishes it to Mitchell. Back to Niang. It's Niang with the jam. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Banton. Nothing on the board. Outside Tatum. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. Now, here's Thompson. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. And it's Levert missing. Here's Pritchard. Levert defending. Passes it to Tatum. Shoots over a Coro. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got the lead up to five now for Boston. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Thompson passes to Mitchell. Thompson sets the pick for Mitchell. The dish now to Okoro. Here's Levert. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Boy, there's a fluidity to his jump shot. Karis Levert coming through for his team in the mid-range. Outside Tatum. Jacks up a three. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Cavaliers are trying to win now while also developing a young superstar in the making in Evan Mobley. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff said, what we're trying to build is never putting one person above the greater success of the team. So it's a balance because when we get to our best, I believe Evan can be our most impactful player. But it's on us to get him there. Kevin? I like that approach. Thanks, D.A. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Well, Coro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. And now the first time out called here for Boston. This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this season. Yeah, and they're hoping for a better showing against this club this season. Last year they came out on the losing end.
And a new group in for the Celtics. Porzingis is checked in for Luke Cornett. Jalen Brown comes in for Jason Tatum. Whitey's checked in for Delano Banton. And it's Holiday in for Pritchard. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Allen's checked in for Thompson. Evan Mobley comes in for George Niang. Max Truce is checked in for Isaac Okoro. And it's Garland in for Donovan Mitchell. Outside White. Porzingis with a screen on Levert. Back to Porzingis. The three. Good on the triple. Porzingis has got seven points in the game. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Holiday against Garland. Mobley outside. Over Horford. That one rolling around and rims out. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Holiday finds Brown. Perzingis with the ball. Perzingis is double. Horford from outside. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Lavert the pass to Garland. 54 seconds left in the second quarter. One thing Garland has always done is shoot Doris. Now he's connecting at a higher clip. Well, uh, Kevin, we know that shooters shoot. And if you have that mindset, you never go away from it. The key for Darius Garland is the talent has always been there. He entered the league so young, efficiency was going to become a natural part of his game. And now, all of a sudden, the ability to include his teammates. This guy has a wealth of talent. You throw good, Garland. One word, Doris, that comes to mind to describe this Cleveland team is scrappy. Now, Kevin, it's the perfect descriptor because you love how hard and how together this group plays. And to me, that represents their culture. Well, three throws good from Garland. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. Now, here is Holiday. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. And here's Brown outside, rebounded by Allen. The Cavaliers trailing. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Garland with the bucket. Well, this is what you get when you get Darius Garland off the basketball. Very capable in the catch and shoot. Brown against Drews. Brown outside. Kicks it to Holiday. Fires from deep. Nailed from three point land. Holiday's got six points. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the D. Showing he can hurt you from that area. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Celtics lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it's so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we'll keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hey there, everybody. Jason Tatum has put his stamp on this game, looking so dominant so far. Well, he scored well, but has been economical with his shots, picking his spots, not really forcing a lot, which allows everyone else to stay involved. Yeah, he's putting up the points, but they're winning as a team right now. Now taking a closer look at the first half, how about the performance from these two guys? 
When you're facing a great player, it's all about taking that challenge. It should bring out the best in you. Iron sharpens iron. Cream rises to the top. Sticks and stones. All that good stuff. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, and there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Struess in at the three. And here is Garland. Following Porzingis' three, Mitchell's shot is good. Donovan Mitchell will answer with his own three. This guy has got a ton of pride and competitiveness. That's to Porzingis. Porzingis with a screen on Mitchell. That's to Tatum. Fires for three. Cavaliers with the rebound. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Mobley a screen on Holiday. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. A moment here to look at some numbers for Evan Mobley. 11th in blocks. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And he's a top 10 rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven, and he competes with you for the entire game. Now here's Porzingis. 10 points for him. Back to Holiday. The pass to Tatum. There's the three. Oh, my! He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. That one on Mobley. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. We've talked about Boston's young talent for so long. They've now become battle-tested veterans. And it's incredible how young that that experience has taken hold. They have had players build big roles in so many big games. What a strong foundation, and now you've just got to keep building. Carlin way outside, and a miss there on the triple. Celtics leading by seven. Outside Holiday. Here he goes. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Inside, Tatum. Can't get it to go. Now 6 of 12 from the floor. Harlan kicks to Mitchell. Down low. Zingas with the steal. Here's White. Good D by Mitchell. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. It's a 10-point game. Mobley with the bounce pass. Drills it from outside. Struz has got five now. Well, Evan Mobley might be a big man, but boy, how about the touch on that pass right there? Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. 
Kevin, thank you. Donovan Mitchell has fit in great with the Cavaliers. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff said he's unbelievable, always uplifting, positive, thinking about other people first. And to me, that's more important than all this put the ball in the basket stuff. Those are the types of people you want to surround yourself with. Kevin? Oh, David, that is outstanding. Thank you so much. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. And the first one at the line is good. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. The Celtics making a switch here. Horford's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Wade, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. And so Tatum nails them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Allen, a screen on Brown. Mitchell passes to Allen. Porzingis with the block. Down kicks to Tatum. Screen by Porzingis. Fires the three. A three from Tatum. He's hit four now from behind the arc. Two in each half, making an impact. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by, number one, improving his handle, and number two, becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special. Let's pause for a moment to show you the teams that have been the best on the glass over the course of the month. Third spot, the Celtics. I mean, they've taken their rebounding to another level, getting physical and playing with a ton of energy. Mitchell outside. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Way to screen on Brown. Here's Mitchell. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Mitchell's got five points now in the quarter. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Horford sets a screen for Brown. Driving inside. Over Wade. Brown, no good. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Now, here's Brown. He has yet to score. Passes it to Persingas. And it's Wade with the rebound. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Brown against Mitchell. Pass to Allen. 
Six to shoot. And here's Garland for three. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Outside, Horford. And here's Brown outside. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. And he'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. That free throw good from Brown. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. You got to pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Second free throw, no good. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And he nails the third. What I love about Jalen Brown is his commitment to improvement. This guy's worked hard on his three-point shooting. He's worked hard on his handle and his decision-making, and there's still another level to come. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GM. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. Brown's shot is good. Brown's got four points this quarter. Oh, that's almost too easy for Jalen Brown. We see you, sir. Pass to Levert. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Right side, Garland. And Pritchard pulls it down. Celtics leading by 10. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong, and by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. Top of the key jumper, no good. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And so it's Boston with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And we'll be right back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. And it's Pritchard in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Wade sets the pick for Levert. Back to Wade. He kicks to Okoro. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Making a huge difference from deep tonight. That was a big time shot. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from. And they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Now here's Tatum. Outside Horford. And again, Boston with the triple. I'll tell you, veteran shot right there. Al Horford immediately answering back with a three of his own. Go ahead, big fella. Now here's Levert. D right on him. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Wade sets the pick for Mitchell. Feeds it to Wade. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And here's what the Cavaliers schedule looks like. 
On Friday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Monday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. And looking at the Boston matchup, you know they're going to want to make a statement in that contest. Taking down the top team in the East could definitely turn some heads. That free throw good from Wade. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for the Celtics. Jones checked in for Cleveland. Max Bruce comes in for Isaac Okoro. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Austin leading by nine. Here's Pritchard. Now the pass to Tatum. Great job by Tatum in close. So skilled at keeping his balance through the contact. Jason Tatum doing work. Mitchell outside. Tries from 10. It's tipped. Tatum against LeVert. Thinking that tough shot, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is a thirsty scorer, and right now filling it up. Timeout called the Cavaliers. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter or keep the ball out of his hands as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to cool this guy off. And the Celtics making a change here. Hauser's checked in. Cleveland also making some changes. Tristan Thompson comes in for Jones. And it's a Coro in for Wade. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. Now, he asked for one thing, intensity. He said, I need you to crank it up to 11 out there. That's how we turn it around. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, David. Spruce finds Mitchell. On the wing, Mitchell. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Celtics leading by 13. To the inside. Tatum passes to Pritchard. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Both teams deciding to change it up. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Shoot from 12. Basket good. Who says the mid-range is dead? If the defense gives it, Darius Garland will take it. Mobley against Tatum. Rebounded by Allen. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Now, here's Garland. It's Bruce on the wing. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Shoots over Struce. Brown's shot is good. And the Celtics lead by 13. 
I tell you, when Brown is running like that, it's hard to stop him. This guy is superb at beating defenders up the floor. Here's Mitchell. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Pass to Tatum. Inside, Tatum automatic. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Mitchell against White, and Mitchell gets it to go. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. It's White on the wing. Brown outside. Outside Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Five on the clock. And the dunk by Porzingis. Well, seven foot three doesn't need much of a vertical. Easy finish for KP. Mitchell against White. Mitchell kicks to Struess. Mobley outside to the paint and stolen by White. Holiday the pass to Tatum. Brown against Struess. Tatum draws the double. Here's Brown. Cavaliers with the rebound. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Boston. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jason Tatum. Efficient What's productivity. Up? You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Here's Holiday. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would see it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Outside Tatum. Shoots the three. Wow. Came this close to a four-point boy. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Tatum has worked very hard to improve his finishing game, and that includes sometimes taking contact and earning a trip to the foul line. And he's good on the first of three. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. And he's good on the second. it and he continues to shoot well from the line and here's Cleveland there's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter good on the three-point shot well this is what they needed earlier on at some point it's too little too late yeah but then again this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won and you get the sense it let its guard down here's Cornette Makes it off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 12. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point it looks insurmountable. And it's Levert missing. 
Tatum with it. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum.